How's it going out there, everybody? Coach Mike here, Texoma Lacrosse. We are going to be looking at our defensive approach, defensive mentality. Uh, we've got Wichita this weekend, home games for us in Shawnee, uh, defending the home turf. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some emphasis, some key points that we need to be focusing on. This example here, from a defensive standpoint, one of the things we've got to do very well this weekend is understand our defensive approaches, how we approach the ball carriers, okay? In this example, you're going to see there's a player here, a couple coaches. There's a, lot, a couple lines here, defensive players, all right? And we're going to run this drill as well in our warm-ups. They're going to be taking some, some sprinting strides, and they're going to immediately start breaking their feet down and keep their bodies in control. Okay, we're going to watch this. Take a sprint. Those small steps. You're going to notice a bunch of small little breakdown steps right here. Bang, breakdown steps, okay? And this is one of the things that whenever a, a good lacrosse teams, good defensive teams, they take very good approaches. You'll see how they break their feet down. Watch it again. Here, 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 bang, 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 okay? Really nice and choppy steps. Now you'll see the coach kind of pointing to his right. They're going to take a step back with their left foot right here. Bang with the left foot, okay? Now, this is, again, to move those defenders out in this example to the left. Uh, and so, again, watch the feet breaking down and then moving them out to the left. Okay, watch it again. Here's another drill. We're going to run this one as well. This is called, they call it the hawk. Okay, they kind of take those small steps towards each other. Okay, look at that. They're kind of zigzagging in and out. But there's a lot of small little steps that they take. Big strides and then some little ones. Okay, watch. Big strides, big strides, little ones. Okay, that's the approach that we've got to have throughout the game, whether we're talking from an attack perspective, from a defensive perspective with our poles, uh, just understand that this is what's so and such an important part of the de of, of the practice, okay? Kind of a sidestepping, backpedaling drill, okay? Uh, you'll notice, uh, uh, for those guys that were there, OU, uh, when we went to watch them against St. Gregory's, they run a very similar drills to this, okay? Where they're really staying low, keeping themselves under control, all right? And, they're, and this is slowed down, okay? So they do it all as a team, okay? Zigzagging in and out, sidestepping. Here's kind of more of a more of a diagonal here, okay? Keeping that sidestep, all right? And that's good. We're going to need these this throughout this game, okay? Just understand too, guys, that you know these these little things here, subtleties. This is what separates, you know, uh, uh, and, and can help us with in terms of our defensive approaches, uh, uh, our defensive pressure. Okay, we're going to be throwing in some stick checks looking and, and getting our stick on their gloves, okay? Again, this is kind of a, a, another drill um, that, that we can understand exactly what we need. Again, let's kind of rewind that for a second. Okay, watch how this, this happened. I'm going to kind of paint the photo for you, paint the picture, because this is one of the things that it's, it's just critical to lacrosse, not only this game and especially this game, okay? So in this example... We've got this player here who's defending, okay, top top center, okay? You're going to notice he's going to take some big strides, and then he's going to break his feet down with a lot of smaller strides. Watch this. Bang, and he's backpedaling, moving them out to the side, okay? These defensive players are also making sure they're sidestepping out, making sure that they're taking good approaches, okay? It's all about footwork, boys. You'll notice the good teams, they don't, they don't throw that many stick checks because they can stay with you with their feet, okay? Watch it again. Taking those side steps, all right? Moving them to the outside. A lot of small steps, okay? Small steps. Right there, bang. Get that ball on the ground. Get some pressure on them, okay? Uh, another thing we got to understand as well, and I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, this is from Hofstra Clinic. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, our, our slides here, okay? So this now, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and paint this photo for you here. Uh, whenever we, we look at this, the center part of the, of, the, of the field right in front of our goal is the paint. Some people like to call it the hub. This is our house, okay? This is the one area that we have got to protect, okay? So in this example, blue with the ball, we are black, okay? We're going to say A here who's defending the ball is going to be yelling out, I'm on ball, I'm on ball, I got ball, okay? For the new players, one of my philosophies is I do not like to defend outside of this restraining box. That means going out in this area, we are going to stay out of it, okay? I do not like to defend out here, okay? So if they've got the ball here, 
We're waiting for them right here inside the restraining box, okay? You'll notice these other areas, W, X, Y, Z. I'm about to explain that here in a second. Um, but you're going to notice here, this is probably be our midfield uh, defenseman, short stick midfielder. We've got D here, who's our crease, long stick uh, defenseman, and E. So these players here would be our long poles, okay? There would be another pole here, be a, another short pole out here, okay? Um, just understand here as we watch this, okay, we've got to understand that the communication is key. So we're going to have Drake in goal. He's going to be yelling top left, okay? This would be considered top left, top right side right, you know, X, which is right here behind, side left, top left, okay, top center, okay, just understand that that's what Drake needs us to be, he's got to be giving us that, that picture in our mind, because while we're defending our players up here in the corners and out here on the sides, we're not going to be so much focused with where the ball is, we're going to be relying on our goalie and the rest of our team to help us around to realize, okay, ball's top left, okay, ball's top right, ball's side right, ball side left, ball's at X. Uh, so that's really meant to help us because one of the problems and one of the issues that more inexperienced teams have is if the ball's top left, everyone is going to be looking towards the ball, okay? E would look to the ball, D's looking to the ball, whoever's down here is going to be looking to the ball, and we can't have that. We, if we do that, especially with Wichita, they're going to, to exploit it. And so what we've got to do is we've got to have one eye on the ball and another eye on our defenseman player here, especially on the crease. We've got to really be able to keep our head on a swivel. For these players that are here, okay, we're going to be more kind of facing our player, okay? We're going to be kind of face guarding them, if you will. Um, and same thing down here, down low. Okay, one of the things that uh, we, we've also got to communicate, and, and because lacrosse is such a dynamic sport where it's just going to happen where we're going to get burned, okay, that's part of the sport, so uh, just kind of get that, get that understanding in that everybody on the field at some point or another is going to get beat, okay, and that's fine. One of the things that we've got to do is understand that when that scenario happens, we've got to be able to make an adjustment quickly, okay? And so what we're going to notice here is player D, okay, in this event that he has the ball, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, okay? We saw E move here, but I'm going to explain why. If one's got the ball, obviously A is going to be on ball, so he's going to be saying, hey, I'm, I got ball, I got ball, okay? And he's going to be looking to send one down this alley, okay? He does not want to get beat. He does not want one to go up this way and into the middle of the field, okay? Now, E, who was previously down here, okay, he was kind of guarding on five, okay, he was down in this Z area. What he's going to do is he wants to kind of play closer into this crease player, okay? And you're asking, okay, coach, why? What happens if they make a pass from one to five, okay? You got to understand that when you are in this area, everyone's sticks are up in the air. They're trying to intercept passes, okay? One is trying to get to themselves to where they're going to put themselves in a shooting position or in a passing position. E, who was previously here, moves up. And the reason for that is because he wants to help D. And the reason why he needs to help D is because D is going to be our first slide. Okay, out of a crease slide, we and what a slide means is that a slide occurs whenever A gets beat. Okay, so one dodges around him. Here one's coming in by himself. We've got to apply pressure. So D is going to slide over, okay? So what's going to happen in the way you verbalize that is that D is going to verbalize, I'm hot, okay? He's going to say, I'm hot. I've got your one, okay? Those are, those are what you would verbalize. So Drake in goal is going to be yelling, who's got the one? Who's hot? Who's hot? D Whoever's there is going to be yelling, hey, I'm hot. I, I got your one, okay? And what that means is I've got your first slide. See, here it is. I'm hot. I'm hot. D's hot, okay? D's got the one. E is going to be having the two, okay? Now I'm going to explain the one and the two. The one, the I'm hot player, the hot player is going to be ready to slide, okay? He's going to be ready to apply pressure here. Once A gets beat, one's going to come down. D's going to come pick him up. Now here's the thing. If E was down here, okay, where he previously was, 
Number four would be wide open, okay? And that'd be a slam dunk. One, all he would do is come down. D would slide over. One would just feed it into four, and four would just get it and slam dunk it into the goal, okay? So in this case, E is going to be the two, okay? The one, I'm hot. He's going to be looking to slide over. The two is going to fill D spot, okay? So watch this, all right? So we understand now the one, the hot player is ready to, to slide. He's got to slide, okay? Now the two has to be ready as well because as soon as the one goes, the two has to fill, okay? And if the two does not fill, like I said, four is wide open, ready for the slam dunk, okay? In this example, you're going to notice this defender here is not wanting to, to slide. And the reason for that is because if he were to slide, this would be an adjacent, okay? We don't want to leave this player open here because all one would have to do is get it to him and he would come in for the slam dunk. So he's going to stay at home, okay? He's going to stay there. He's going to protect uh, three from getting the ball. He's going to be also keeping his eye on six, okay? So again, we're focused in on these three players. On ball defender, I've got ball, I've got ball. D, I'm hot, I got your one. I'm hot, I'm hot. E is the two, okay? Here comes D. He's going to be ready to slide. Here's one. He beats him. Now D's going to slide over. He's going to pick him up. E's going to slide and fill his spot, just like I said, all right? Now here's the question. Here's a million-dollar question, okay? What does A do? Because A's beat, okay? And the, question, or the answer to that is A is going to fill back this way, okay? A is going to fill back to this spot here too, okay? What we've got to also realize, guys, is that this is a flex scenario okay because five now is 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 open okay five is now open and so what we've got to understand is we've got the one one is here d two is e okay so now the three slide which is what we're about to understand okay this kind of brings it all into 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 fruitation here a's on the ball okay d's hot e's got the two okay here's b okay B is going to be the three, okay? Now, you're going to notice, oh, wait a second, coach. Why, why not C? Why isn't C the three, okay? If one gets beat to the left-hand side of A, so he's going down this alley, okay? B is going to slide three down. He's going to slide down, okay? If A gets beat top side, top side would be one coming around this way towards the center, which is what we do not, do not want. If that happens, C would be the three, okay? I know we're getting pretty complicated here, boys. I'm trying to keep this as easy as possible, okay? F's going to stay back, okay? He's not going to get into this, okay? A's on ball, D's hot, E's the two, okay? Watch what happens here, okay? And this example, which we were about to see, one's going to come down the alley, okay? D's going to come slide, pick him up, E's going to fill and, and become that crease defender. You're going to also notice that E has got to get in front of four. If E stays behind him, all one's got to do is, is come down the alley, feed it into four, and four's just got the easy shot, okay? And the, the theory here is as one moves, there it is. I'm hot, I'm hot. Boom, he comes over. E flips over. B is going to come down to fill that spot. A is going to fill this spot, okay? And that's how the, that's what happens there. That's kind of the recovery aspect, okay? Which is what we're about to see here, okay? One comes down the alley. He's on ball. I got ball. I got ball. Who's hot? Who's hot? Who's hot? Another thing I need I didn't I didn't explain was when to slide, okay? When to slide. When to know when to move, okay? Drake has got to yell fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire. Okay? That means the hot man's got to go. Hot is got to slide, okay? Fire means slide. Fire, fire, fire! Hot is going to move, okay? Two's got to fill, okay? B's got to come down, okay? He, if, if he goes left, okay? If, if he goes right, C's got to got to fill, okay? So understand, guys, it's all about communication. I'm on ball, ball, ball. Who's hot? Who's hot? I'm on hot. I'm hot. I got your one. Who's two? Okay, it, it's got to be like that, guys. I get emotional about this because it's so, so vital, Okay, we've got to do better communicating. If we want to do well this weekend, boys, we have got to all understand. I'm hot. Fire, fire, fire. D, 
D's going to move over. E's got the two. Okay? B's feeling down. He's got the three. A is going to move and recover back to this area. Okay? And we reset from there. Okay? And we reset from there. We try and get them to re-get re their shape back. Okay? That's Those are some of the most critical aspects, boys, for this weekend. Our communication. Okay? Our making sure that we're not watching the ball. We've got to face guard these other players. If we call fire, we've got to understand our responsibilities. Who's the one? Who's hot? Who's two? Who's three? Okay? Good lacrosse teams communicate effectively. I consider us a team that is going to be, and we are going to be communicating effectively. I know that Coach Kessler and I are, are passionate about this sport. I hope that the people out there, uh, lacrosse fans, lacrosse players out there, can understand, see this, and realize that if you do not communicate, this becomes a lot more difficult. Okay, if we miss a slide and we don't slide, guess what? There's, we're going to give up a shot and more than likely we're going to give up a goal. Okay, I hope you guys learned something from this. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Uh, we've got a couple big games, uh, Wichita coming into town. And hey, we're going we're gonna to impose our will. It's our time. And hey, Texoma Lacrosse, thank you guys for watching. Coach Mike, and I'm out.